Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alyssa Marie and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am back with a new video and it is a workout a video, glute focus. I'm literally on my way out right now. I just made my pride pre-workout and the flavor voodoo and it's Wednesday. It is about maybe nine. It is nine. It's 9 45 in the morning and i'm about to go get an amazing glute day in yesterday was my rest day so i am fully rested and super excited to get it in and i haven't recorded a full glute focused workout on my channel in a long time if ever i don't know i think i did a couple years ago so if you end up enjoying this video please make sure you give me a like and if you are not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe i have videos like this already on my channel and i have much more coming so without further ado let's get into it and it will be like a talk through so the gym be you know it'd be loud it'd be music the pre-work i'll be going so i will be doing a talk through throughout it which i love doing and happy that i can do on my youtube channel because i feel like i can just explain more of what i'm doing and why i'm doing it and really give you a lot of tips and tricks that i'm usually not able to do like on my social media my fitness page at Alyssa Marie body so yeah let's go here's a preview of today's workout i like to pre-plan my workouts i usually will grab a workout off of one of my programs or i would just piece it together depending if like there's exercise i haven't done in a while so kickbacks i haven't done in a while so i really put a lot of workouts that i haven't done in a while but i absolutely love so like kickbacks kettlebell swings hyper extensions i don't really do but I'm gonna do it at the very end of my workout and see how it feels and if like the engagement's really good. But this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Depending on when I get there, I'll change it up a little bit. I'll add something or not do something. So this is a preview of what's happening. But for sure, for sure, we are starting today's glute workout off with kickbacks. Okay, so you guys already know we're going to start off with a warm-up and stretch. I was tight from a couple workouts ago, and so I really took my time with today's stretching, really opening up the hips, stretching those hamstrings because they were super tight, and you never want to go into your workout feeling very tight. That just, just don't do that. It's bad. You can get, you know, prone to injuries, things like that. So make sure you take your time and you stretch so that you can get better engagement in your workouts which equals better results. And these are just my typical stretches for legs. We're only really stretching legs today because I'm not doing upper body, so I really don't do too much upper body stretching unless I feel sore, but I don't. And then you're gonna see me do a couple warm-ups These right here felt so good. If your hips ever feel tight or you feel like you can't really get as deep as you feel you can in squats, do this move right here because it really opens up the hips and it feels so good and it allows me to get deeper depth in my lower body exercises during the workout. Okay, so like I showed you the plan before, we are starting off with cable kickbacks. I personally love to use a bench. If you are a long-term follower of my fitness journey, then you already know I prefer the bench to do cable kickbacks versus just standing. A lot of people have problems with pressure being in their back when they're standing. When I use the cable, when I use the bench, I have no pressure on my back at all. I'm able to lift heavier and also feel the engagement directly in my glutes. So I'm using the straps that I'm using is by me, Alyssa Marie Body Fitness, but we are sold out right now. But I am using my ankle straps. If you have some of your own or if your gym has them, then go ahead and strap that baby on and we're gonna go in. This is the warm up set. I think here I'm only doing about 20 pounds 
And for my warm up, I like to do about 12 to 15 until I can really feel it. And it usually takes me at least 12 reps for my, you know, glutes to really start to feel a burn. So this is my warm-up set. Typically before any exercises that I'm doing, the first set is always going to be a warm-up, which meaning I'm not starting off with the heaviest weight that I can squat. So I just pop down 225s on each side and I'm going to do 10 to 12 reps as my warm-up. And then after I do this one, I'm going to add on a 10 to each side and then work from there. When doing squats, I personally like to keep a constant motion as I'm doing it. As you see, I don't really pause at the top or like squeeze my glutes at the top. Over time, I've realized that I get the best glute growth if I just constantly keep going because I do feel it in my glutes. You want to make sure that you're working through your heels, not your toes. So I'm always driving back up through my heels, which is working, you know, the glutes and i just get better results when i keep constant tension if i ever pause at the top it's probably because i'm like at my max and i'm about to like tap out but if it's just you know one two you see i'm just up and then go back down but still controlled i'm not just bouncing up and down um hurting my knees locking them out it's slow but controlled movement with little to no rest through the entire 10 reps. See, when I do this right here, that's when you know, okay, I'm hurting, okay? <laughs> and I'm done. Now for the third exercise, this is the RDL squat combo. I'm gonna take two heavy dumbbells. This is my warm up set, so I'm using a 17 and a half in each hand. And you kinda wanna do like a wide stance a little bit. Okay, this is another view, and you're gonna do a regular RDL, and then you're going to do a deep squat, making sure you keep your chest up core tight. You do not wanna compromise your form. And these right here hurt like a you know what, especially after we just did heavy ass kickbacks, I just did barbell squats, four sets, this right here, you're already like super fired up. So when you do this, you are going to feel it like immediately. And then you see right there, I was just topping them off with some pulse squats. And now I'm just increasing the weight to 20s and we're gonna get it in again.
because honey I was toasted okay but every single exercise I did today it was like great engagement it hit right where I needed it to hit and honestly when you're doing isolated glutes even when you're doing legs you do not need eight to ten exercises I promise you don't like even with just four solid exercises you will be good to go and if you notice like I like to superset a lot of things. Even when I did my cable kickbacks, I didn't just do regular kickbacks. I also would, after completing 10 to 12 reps, I would also then do straight leg kicks. So I'm really pushing myself to the max with every single exercise. So on a glute day, all I need is four workouts, four to five, and I'm good. So to complete this workout, I did four sets on the abductor machine. Love these for the side glutes. Go heavy. The way I just had such a good workout and I ate that sandwich so fast like <laughs> I was so hungry but if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and comment below any of your thoughts or questions and what you would like to see next I am about to continue on at my day got my water next to me make sure I stay hydrated if you tried this workout out, please let me know what do you think. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.